Imagine playing a fantasy RPG and coming across an area filled with monster egg sacs. Will you do the honorable thing and leave them be? Or will you do what any gamer would? Break them and loot them. Hello everybody, I'm Stretch. Today, we'll be talking about the Hive. The Hive is a secret level located within the backrooms. It appears as an expansive system of caverns and caves overrun with massive fleshy inanimate tentacles covering the roof, ground, and walls. These tentacles hail from unknown origins and it is unclear whether they are separate beings or if they are part of an even greater entity. The air in the hive is coated with a thick pastel blue fog. The increased concentration of carbon dioxide in the air makes it hard for wanderers to breathe. This deters visitors from overstaying their welcome, else they risk hyperventilating. The hive is dotted with huge, circular, pearl-like eggs in random patterns. These eggs are at least 5 feet in size, covered in a slimy substance. On closer inspection, you can make out what appears to be an embryo suspended inside the translucent casing. And what is the purpose of these alien-looking eggs? You guessed it. These eggs hatch into the entities that you know and love, such as hounds, skin stealers, death moths, and many, many more. Any encounter with newborn entities will likely spell death. However, if the baby is by its lonesome, then you'll probably be able to escape without much trouble, since it has yet to form fully functional limbs nor develop the necessary motor skills to outrun you. The existence of the hive came to public knowledge when a wanderer accidentally no-clipped into it. Fortunately, he was able to live and tell the tale. Oh man, that was one of the worst experiences I've ever had. It was already hard enough to navigate through level 6 since it was dark as heck. Then just my luck, I slipped and fell through the floor, landing somewhere completely different. When I came to, I saw a freaking hound looking at me dead in the eye. I was livid. Not only was I covered in some slimy goo, I was about to become someone's chew toy. I closed my eyes and let God take the wheel. But nothing happened. Then I realized the hound wasn't moving at all. It was just there, inside an egg sack of sorts, kinda like ones we see in movies and games. I pushed myself off and fell. I hadn't realized I was so high up because the fall broke my arm. When I got back up, oh boy, let me tell you, there were these insanely big tentacles with egg sacs all over the place. It was truly a sight to behold. Still incredibly creepy though. I figured since it was just eggs everywhere, it'd be fine just to look around, you know? But after a while, I couldn't breathe right. My vision started blurring and my mind wanted to shut off. Barely keeping it together, I trudged along the walls, each step heavier than the last. Suddenly, I heard howls echoing from every direction. Some voices I recognized, but the ones I didn't sent shivers down my spine. I had to get out! I accidentally slipped and went tumbling down a hidden tunnel within the walls. And before I knew it, I was back in level zero. Talk about a crazy adventure. The Wanderer's story gave the Meg crucial intel on how to traverse this new perilous level. However, finding a consistent entrance into the hive remains a challenge. Currently, we're looking into a possible connection between level 8 and the hive due to their similarities. In summary, the hive is one of the most dangerous levels in the backrooms, serving as the point of origin for various backrooms entities. Still, this begs the question of whether there are more of such breeding grounds or are there different types located elsewhere? Currently, we have yet to receive reports of any sightings of entities mating in the hive. It is possible that the chambers where they engage in <clears throat> courtship rituals are kept hidden from the main area. In any case, the discovery of the hive has changed how we view the reproduction of entities in the backrooms. Since various entities emerge from the same eggs, is it possible that they share a parent? Rumor has it that there exists a high queen somewhere deep within the hive.